Hi everyone, welcome back to RTS and what do we have today? Well, first of all, we had a giveaway and so I'm going to pick a winner for this summer giveaway that we just had. That's why you see all these beautiful supplies. And then I have a whole page of notes. <laughs> Yes, because I'm going to be talking to you about some things coming up and I have some Q&A and I have some happy mail to show. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel so blessed. So blessed. I can't even begin to tell you. So I know some people don't want to hear a bunch of chit chat. So let's get to the winner. Okay. So I have my iPad here and I have my video popped up about our happy summer giveaway. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube random comment picker and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to paste my, you know, I, I'm not so, I'm not very techy, but anyways. Okay. So we're going to load the comments. Okay. What do we have? And I can't do a drum roll. It'll probably sound like a Chiquita banana if I did a drum roll. But anyways, it says, I have 140 unique users found. And so let's randomly pick a winner of our Happy Summer giveaway. Yes. And who do we have? Anita KLI. Oh, yes, Anita. You were the winner of our Happy Summer giveaway. So uh, leave a message for me in the comments. And then I will email you back. No, not email. <laughs> I'll post to your comment with my email. Okay, and then we'll talk that way and I'll get this out to you. So yes, ah, love it, love it, love it. So congratulations, Anita. Yes, all right, there you go. And I hope you enjoy these little supplies because there's four six by six pads, some stamps, embossing folders, and my beautiful friend Penny had just asked, can you show some things with some embossing folders? And honestly, great minds think alike because there's a layout coming up that will be showing something with embossing folders and embossing folder cuts, okay? So there we go. Okay, so Anita, I hope you enjoy all of these. And definitely scrapbook those beautiful boys those beautiful blessings absolutely so i just love i just love picking a winner but honestly and i'm just putting this all back in a bag because i try to keep everything together because if you saw the state of my scrap space you would be like what i thought you were organized yes i am organized just not today <laughs> no i have a lot going on okay so i'm gonna put something here so I figure out what I'm going to talk about next. Okay, so there's the giveaway. Okay, so what do we have coming up? Okay, well, <laughs> there's a lot coming up. Let me put these here, okay? So we have a lot coming up. I'll put that there because that's coming up. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to give a couple little things of coming up. So clustering 101 is coming up and go to designs is coming up. And then a review of these Nouveau crystal drops is coming up. Yes, and then also too, since fall is right around the corner, unfortunately, but you know, that's a blessing too, to see a new season. And so starting our photos, our mega photo, <laughs> that will be an ongoing feature on RTS because that's what it's all about is our stories and our photos, right? So that will be coming up and I'm trying to think now how I'm going to start that and do not worry about it. It's not going to be hot and heavy. It's going to be a few steps at a time because it's a big thing and it's going to be a continual series, a continual feature. So you can pick up, leave off wherever you need to. Okay. It's not nothing heavy, heavy duty because none of us have heavy duty time to put into a heavy duty project. Okay. Now I do get a lot more scrapping in the fall, but then what's right around fall, the holidays. <gasps> Yeah, and I'll be talking about that coming up. Okay, so then what else is coming up? Oh, there's another series coming up. Yes, I'm excited about this series because it's a category I need help with. Oh, well, not help. I need attention with this category. So it's going to be about layouts, and so that will be coming up. That will be coming up probably before anything else because I'm excited about that. And then, excuse me, what else? The video about tearing down a paper pad and my paper categories, that is up coming up. And then, oh yes, okay. Yes, we are definitely going to be doing a knockoff kit of the Pink Fresh Indigo Hills 2 collection that's coming out next month or this month. It's coming out soon. It's a beautiful color palette. So excited that you gals wanted to see that. So I have some a few things up my sleeve. I've been pulling some supplies left and right for that. And then, 
what else do I want to say? Okay, what else is coming up? Here's what I want to say. If you love Disney and you love fall and you like a little bit of both, <laughs> And just hit the notification bell because we have a lot coming up. Yes, we do. We have a lot more start to finish coming up because I'll tell you what, by now, load has already happened and ended. And guess what? I didn't get to participate in any of those. No, the seven days came and went. Uh, my daughter got ill. She had to go to back to college a week early. So it just fell in the week that I just wasn't available. So guess what? My load layouts will be coming up because I'm going to pretend that it just started. <laughs> That's the beauty of load. You do it when it fits your schedule. But my seven days of load will be coming up because I want to do that. You know, I paid for that. I want to take advantage of that. And then you'll see this beautiful washi coming up uh, with a layout with a start to finish from some page kits that we had put together. So I do have some layouts coming about that. Okay. Now, if you want to see a little bit about more about kit storage, because I got some questions, I'm going to show that here in this video. So hang on. And then I'm going to talk about some happy mail I got. And then, ah, oh, I got to show this gotta show this. I think I gotta take my sweater off already. I go from hot to cold in a matter of two minutes. Oh, the beauties of reaching the big 5-0. Okay, so <laughs> look at this paper pad. Guess what? I was doing some traveling again, you know, just be bopping my behind everywhere. And so I stopped it another Tuesday morning and they had um, some new items come in and you know, Cartabella paper love love but I started to pick up a few things for a giveaway and I noticed another theme so I have another giveaway coming up in a few weeks and this one has a different type of mood and feel and so some of you gals will really some of you already know by looking at that what it's going to be it's a different type of theme now I wanted to say there are some new scrapbookers here Carnabella has beautiful beautiful textured weight heavyweight paper but when you buy their paper pads and I can't open that up because it's new but I have one here when you open up their six by six pad is not textured paper so be aware of that because I love Cartabella textured paper in the 12 by 12 size but when you buy a six by six pad it is not textured okay so just be aware of that you know I wish they could but they don't so but their 12 by 12 sheets is beautiful texture heavyweight okay so this is a new giveaway coming up so let me put this away so because I try to keep all my giveaways contained. Okay. And then you want to see another sneak peek of something coming up? Uh, yes, this came into my inventory not so long ago because I was traveling. Had a gift card, you know, and had to, I had to have some paper. So this is the new, the newest collection by Paper Studio. It replaced the Petals and Blooms. And it's the LOL, which is, isn't that just a cute title? So anyways, you're going to see a layout coming up in our paper pad party with this. And there's a little bit of twist. It may be a Disney page. And you're going to be like, you're going to do a Disney page out of that? Oh, yes, I am. So stay tuned for that. Okay, what else do we have coming up? Oh my goodness, I'm looking at my notes, my notes. I did want to answer a couple questions. Okay, so I had gotten a couple questions about these Cambridge doilies and why are they called Cambridge doilies? I think that's just the name of the style, okay? And I got these from Amazon and I will link that below. And this is one size, I don't even know what, I'm thinking they're a four and a six. Let's just see, a four and a six. Uh, maybe a, yeah, maybe a four, three and a half. What do you think? three and a half, maybe five, but I'll have the links below. And on my layouts, someone has said that they look so bold. They do because that's just one. But when I do them on my layouts, I use more than one. So you can you see the difference, how this one shows up more? Because I just like bold, you know? And so, um, I will have the links below because someone had asked now. There's the downfall of ordering them from Amazon is you get a lot in a box. So if you could find one or two or three or four people to go in, and I mean, it's really affordable when you divvy it up between two, three, four people because I, that's what I did. And then I also share these too. So if you want a giveaway of mine, you'll usually get these in your giveaway because I had, a, I have a whole box, but even uh, sharing with them, I still have quite a bit. So these are Cambridge doilies. Beautiful, beautiful. You do have to be aware of all the little trinkets you get when you take them apart. Okay. But like I said, for my layouts, and there's the difference. There's more than one. There's just one. I like this look a little bit better on my layouts. Okay, so that was the Cambridge Doilies. Okay, so I had that gotten that question. And I want to thank Kim and a few other gals that had enlightened me on what the, <laughs> the saying, what does the fox say? Yeah, Kim, 
<laughs> God love her. She even gave me a video link. So thank you, Kim. I appreciate that because I, I, I had no idea. None. None whatsoever. No. Oh, it's too fun. I, I just, you gals are just simply the best. Okay. Now I got another question. This was from Sandy. She had wanted to know. I had showed a couple dies in my page kit video recently. And I think this one specifically, and Sandy, correct me if I'm wrong, you had asked about this dot. You said it had a retro look to it. And when you mentioned Frank Lloyd Wright, you had me at hello. Oh, love his work. And I actually got to visit a Frank Lloyd Wright home. Oh, yes, and I will never forget that. Actually, I probably should scrapbook that. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Now I just got an idea. Okay, I got to write that down. So this is what it is. It is just this circular die. Might show up better here. And it does. It definitely does have a retro. I liked it just because it's circle shaped, you know. And then you get also, you get that cut as well. Okay, it cuts really well. Now, this die was very inexpensive. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> very inexpensive. And I got it from Amazon. And of course, you know, there's a, a store called AliExpress. You can get a lot of dies and things like that. I haven't went onto that website because, you know, it is an overseas website for me and I wasn't comfortable with that, but I will order from Amazon. Okay. But they came for, they come from overseas too, but my processing goes through the Amazon channels, if that makes sense. And so I will have the link below for that. I'm thinking it was like less than two or three dollars. And a Santa brought them in my stocking last year. Yes. Isn't that amazing how Santa knows what I like? Yes. Okay, now I'm thinking this was the other one you were asking about, Sandy. I'm thinking it was this one or this one or this one. But I'll show you because I am positive. And that's this one. I am positive those all, well, I know they are. They came from Amazon because they, I can tell these were the last ones that came in. And my, I haven't bought any dyes this year. So, yes, yeah, Santa put those in my stocking. Okay. Now, you know, Christmas is coming up, ladies, and I will tell you the best thing you can do for yourself. If you want scrap something scrapbook related under the Christmas tree for you, buy it yourself, give it to your husband, give it to your children, tell them to wrap it. And there's your Christmas gift. I have done that for many years because my husband says, unless it's a gift card, I don't know what to buy. So I'll just buy something. I'll go on scrapbook generations, order a box of stuff and give it to my husband say, here, wrap it. Okay. Yeah. That's what I do because years and years ago i would get disappointed if i didn't have something scrappy related to open up on christmas morning even if it's just a paper pad i want something scrapbook related and gift cards just as an instant gratification for me no i love having them but so yes and this is one of those things that last year my husband had asked me what i wanted for my stocking and i said well i said i'd like to have some dies and uh so I ordered, I don't know, six or seven. And I would order them sooner than later because sometimes they can take up to two months to come. It depends on the vendor, okay? And so if you want something like this for Christmas, go ahead and order it. Tell your tell your special other, your spouse, your kids what you're going to do. Say, oh, you got me a Christmas gift. Thank you. <laughs> Believe me, they will be happy that you did that, okay? So that's just something a little fun we do, yes. We buy what we want and then we give it to each other to wrap, <laughs> That's not with everything, but if there's a certain thing you want, especially if, you know, if your special other has a hobby and you just don't know what that is, and it goes both ways. It goes for men and female. I mean, I, I just wouldn't know. <laughs> you know, if it's not your hobby, you just don't know. So anyways, what was I saying? Yes. Look, and I will. Now there's a downfall to going on Amazon and putting in dyes because for me, I put in floral dyes. Okay. And you can spend a week there looking at floral dyes. Okay. And then I put in circle dyes. And so that's how I found these. And I will try to link those because the vendors that I bought from, they were bigger vendors and they're still on there. Okay. So, I mean, I'm sure they are because it's only been about a year. So I will put those links below Sandy for those dyes. And I think that's what, and they cut so, so well. I haven't had any problem. Now I will tell you that some people get up in arms when we're ordering dyes from overseas or AliExpress or from Amazon. And they're saying, oh, well, so-and-so copied so-and-so's design and that belonged to another company. You know what I have to say? What is not my problem? Okay. Because honestly, I'm a consumer. I have no way of knowing what manufacturers did what and if it doesn't have a patent or a copyright I, i'm not in control of that so if anybody gives you any grief about buying something from aliexpress or from amazon it's just not your problem okay this is about uh, promoting our hobby it's not about promoting a company okay it, that's how i look at you know 
and that's just, you know, I probably should get off of that. But I mean, I have actually had a couple of friends whose YouTube channels got plugged, you know, or their, their channels got pulled because they had said the word AliExpress and a couple companies, and I'm talking scrapbook companies went after them. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't happy about that. You know, if why would a company go after the person who's buying your supply versus the person who's copying your supply? Okay, can I get an amen? Yes. We're consumers. You know, if you're a company and you're worried about someone copying your design, you know, that you go talk to your lawyer. Don't talk to us. Okay? Yes. Amen. I will get off of that because I'll be on there for five minutes. Yes. I'm about promoting the hobby, but I'm not, I'm not your lawyer. Okay? No. Okay, what else we got? Okay, let's talk about kit storage. And I'll just put some things up here. Okay, now, in my last page kit, I think that was kit number four, I had gotten some questions. And I'll show this again when I do part five, okay? Is that how do I store these kits? I do, when I do paper page kits, I do it in two ways. I either do it in a pizza box or I do it in this. Now, with this, with my page part four building page kits, I had embellishments with those. So you can't just layer them in a pizza box because that would be an accident waiting to happen. That would be like a headache times a headache. So I'm going to show you what I did. And if I was going to a crop, this would be something I do too. And so I just wanted to show, I just put them in one of those Dollar Tree bags. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I did. Now these are the ones I just worked on, on part four. Okay, so if you notice that all my bags are numbered, okay, there's one, two, five, seven, you know, yada, 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 okay, you know, because I was working with them, and so then I just numbered my bags, okay, because I have to be all about portability and also, too, cost-effective, because I just, you know, you have to go the cheapest route when you're doing a lot of everything, okay, and so then what I did was I have each one of my page kits you know, separated by copy paper, just like I showed in the video. But then on top of the page kit, you can see my copy paper has a number, okay? So there's number nine. Let's see if we can find number, oh, well, there it is, number nine. So this is page kit number nine, there's my bag kit number nine. So that is an absolutely quick way, if you're going to a crop, or even just because I have these at home, if you're dealing with embellishments, you cannot lay them on top of one another in a pizza box. I only do that in a pizza box if it's just paper. But if embellishments are involved, these puppies have to be in a baggie. There is just, <clears throat> there's just no other way around it. So again, you can see, I'll show you another one. What's the next one? There's number eight. There's my number eight. Okay, because how else are you going to do it? I, I don't really care for the iris storage bins as far as embellishments. The, can, the 12 by 12 container itself is great. But for embellishments, no, it just, I don't know. I think things get mixed up too quick. So there's all my, no, this, if this was just my kit and they were just paper, you could put them in a pizza box. It's flat. It's no problem. But when you have embellishments, well, you could still put it in a pizza box. But when you have embellishments, you have to bag them up. You just simply do. And so, like I said, I just have my page kits numbered on top of that copy paper. And then I have my baggies numbered. So, yes, a couple of people had asked about that. And, yes, I agree. There's no way you can just have your embellishments on top of that copy paper stacked on one of another. Nope. Because let me tell you something. Things get knocked over. Fur babies knock things over. Little babies knock things over. So, yes, you have to have your embellishments and baggies. And I tell you, is this not ever quick? You open that up. You just find your number and go to town. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So I wanted to show that. And then I will show that again in more detail in building page kits part number five. Okay. So I need to get something laying here. And what else do I have? Okay. I think I went over everything other than, yes, my load layouts will be coming up and the new series coming up and the new uh, videos popping up. And then guess what happens on September 1? Okay. In just a couple weeks. I was asked to join in on the next round of September, the Counterfeit Kit Club blog and hop. And so you will see that and the reveal for that kit will be up on September 1. So I will show my reveal kit, uh, how I took the inspiration kit that was given to us by the lovely Tina Campbell. And so uh, they had asked me be, to be the guest, uh, guest 
forger. <laughs> they call they have they just have a lovely way of how they do these counterfeit kits and the whole way that they present it on the blog and the hop and I will have the link below so go hop over and check out that blog now to get some inspiration and then in just a couple weeks you'll see the September 1 kit that uh, Tina Campbell had gave us to uh, do a knockoff yeah a knockoff version of a mainstream kit <laughs> so it's a counterfeit kit <laughs> oh yes and so there's a couple challenges coming up for the month of September so I'll be popping on on that so I will leave the links below head uh, you know go ahead over and see what the counterfeit kit club is all about awesome way they do that and I'm so glad they continued with that because it has just been well it's just a it's a great setup so I will have the links below but come back on September 1 you'll see my knockoff counterfeit kit <laughs> of a mainstream kit that w that was selected for the month of September okay I think that is it I think I went over all my notes I probably did a lot of talking but that's okay do I have anything else I think I told you about the Nuvo did I tell you about that yes that review is coming up and if you saw how many projects I had going on oh, you'd be so excited okay so now I have to share some happy mail that came like one day right after the other so excited okay now I have an online friend glory and she's made this beautiful card and what does it say you are a treasure to me is that just not the most beautiful little sentiment glory I'd love to know that stamp because that is just absolutely but this this is just like a rose gold embossed beautiful and she had a sweet little message in there and she sent me some bible journaling and I don't have either one of these glory so isn't that just amazing you know you would think with the amount of supplies I have I don't have either one of those so thank you thank you thank you thank you for that and now glory is the same person that and I talked about glory before because my flare inventory is due to glory <laughs> she made and I and I'll ask Glory if she can list that information below and then I'll also list it in a few other videos when I talk about flair because Glory she just makes beautiful flair okay and so Glory can you give that information below where people can go and find your flair very reasonable price and holds holds up very well and thank you Glory for this beautiful beautiful happy happy meal i love it yes and so yes bible journaling is coming up for me because i need to get back to that i've, I've put that on the back burner i hate to say that but that's the truth of it and i i, I need i need it i i'm just at a stage in my life right now where i have to depend on that to get through the day okay my next happy meal can you just take a gander at this i mean <sighs> Yes, I was jumping around like a two-year-old because my lovely friend Pat sent me a Creative Memories cutting system. Not just the circles, but the ovals and the templates and the blades and a cutting mat. Pat, I can't thank you enough. I mean, this was just... And I have to say, please let me reimburse you for this shipping because I know shipping's expensive. I send out a lot of things. Shipping is very expensive. So please, could I at least reimburse you for this shipping, for this generous, generous gift? I mean, ah, Pat knew that this was on my wish list for Christmas and she had an extra one and she sent this to me and I'm just overwhelmed. I mean, now some of you have asked, how do I have so much inventory? Yeah, this is why I have beautiful friends. I am blessed a lot. Companies send me things. Friends send me things. My family gives me things so yes I I'm very very blessed honestly uh, I have to stop I'm starting to feel the the waves of tears coming uh, fan yourself okay fan yourself fan yourself okay <laughs> Pat, thank you so much. This is such a generous gift. And look, I've already been playing and it's so simple. Now, my friend Vicki is a, a Creative Memories consultant demonstrator and I'll have her link below. And so because I think I need to get a green blade as well. Is that, would that be right, Pat? I think so. And then I did have a question when you're cutting this, and some of you gals may know this, do you put your paper up you know facing you or do you cut with your paper facing down that I haven't figured out okay so let me know which makes the better cut with your paper facing up on the mat or the paper facing down because I would need to know that because I'm going to use pattern paper mainly but Pat thank you a million times for this now I cannot I can put that Martha Stewart thing I don't like so much in a giveaway pile okay thank you so much and I want to say something about Pat and I'm going to keep this notepad 
and I want to say something about Pat because a lot of you wouldn't know this, but Pat, along with my husband and my daughter, she is the one who planted the seed many, 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 well, probably a year and a half ago, two years ago, even before that. Pat is the one who planted the seed for me to do a YouTube channel. Yeah, and she knows because I told her. Uh, her and Vanessa Bell were the two ladies that said, yeah, you need to do this. And, you know, it's, it's one thing when your husband and your family tells you, but when you have people that are actually scrapbookers and actually do YouTube and they think you should do something, it that meant a lot. So Pat is the one who planted the seed, truth be told, a long time ago. Actually, I think over two years ago. So you just never know what you're going to say to someone that that seed will be planted and it can actually change their life in a big way or a small way. So Pat, you know how I feel about you. And then when you did this... <laughs> You're so awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for planting that seed of encouragement many, many, many months ago uh, about doing a YouTube channel. Because Pat likes my kids. Because, well, she's just a doll. Okay, so I think that's all I have today. Thank you, Glory. Thank you, Pat, for the beautiful Happy Mail and the gifts. And please, Pat, let me reimburse you for the shipping. Because I know shipping's... Yeah, shipping's tough. Okay, so there is a lot coming up. Hit the notification bell. There is just going to be a lot. I'm going to have paper hanging to the left, paper hanging to the right. Yeah, we got scissors hanging all over the place. Yes, we got a lot coming up. A lot of fun stuff, fall stuff. We have some theme stuff coming up. We have Disney coming up. We have some organizing still coming up. Yes. So, come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye.